Hey friends, today I'm hanging out at Disney Springs. I'm gonna be meeting up with some friends later, getting something to eat and having some drinks, but I wanted to come out early, do a little shopping, because I hear a Disney Cruise Line pop-up store opened up just this past couple days, and I thought it'd be cool to come check it out. So, let's go do this. I believe the Disney Cruise Line pop-up store is over at the co-op and it is a Friday night so I'm gonna be expecting heavy crowds here at the Springs. It's been getting super busy on the weekends, sometimes even hitting capacity where they won't let anyone else in. I love how Disney Springs does these cool pop-up stores. Now, I've seen them do it for other things in the past, and a couple of the items I've seen for the cruise line were like special cruise line ears, cruise line spirit jerseys, and I just think it's really cool because right now, a lot of people are missing the cruise line. Oh no, a Mickey balloon popped. I hear whenever a Mickey balloon pops, somebody gets angels. Pretty sure that was like a Michael Scott quote. It didn't even make sense. I hear whenever a Mickey balloon pops, someone gets angels. <laughs> right here is the Marketplace Co-op, and this is where the store is supposed to be at, so I guess we'll just explore a little bit. I do love checking out Cherry Tree Lane, the Disney Centerpiece, and 28 in Maine. These are all amazing stores, and they also have like an art store in here that I like as well. Well, it actually looks like the Disney Cruise Line store replaced the 28th and Main store, which is kind of strange because I just said that I like that store a lot. And here it is. Look at it. They replaced everything. They even put up new signs. The Disney Cruise Line where magic meets the sea. And I'm excited because they have a lot, a lot of new merchandise. I wasn't expecting all of that. Ooh, those are the new ears right there. I wonder if they're sold out already. Look at those bright spirit jerseys right there. I love it. Now that is a cool spirit jersey. I think I might actually want to get that one, but they have a lot more to go through. They've got tarvises, they've got ears, they've got bags, towels, cups, everything you can think of. It also looks like they still have ears in stock. You know, sometimes those ears get sold out pretty quickly. I don't know firsthand experience, but from what I hear, I know that they go pretty fast. They also have a nice fanny pack too. I think fanny packs are making a way back. I know I've seen a lot of them in the parks recently, so maybe it's starting to get trendy. And then down below, some nice luggage. Ooh, now that's fancy. How much are these? $159, but that's really, really fancy. I like the way it scoots. Beep, beep, boop, 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 boop. They also got some cool things for the fellas. We've got some ball caps and some polo shirts. I do like these pajama bottoms over here. I think they are very fancy. Also, I like this. This is really cool. It's actually not too heavy either. I would wear this actually around Disney World. Oh, I like the one in the, oh, it's one in the same, the reversible. I was tricked. How much is this? Cause I like this, $59. But I was really tricked, but it's all one and the same. It's just reversible. Pretty fancy. They also have a new dress and a new purse. Disney Cruise Line. I think they're going all out here. I oh, I also like this. It's kind of like a Tommy Bahama because it's like that pattern, but it's not. Oh, I really like this. This is a Castaway K one. The sea is calling me. Oh, look at the fancy hat. They have it for ladies too. Like the pattern is universal. They have it for the youngsters all the way up. I like it. This is really awesome. There is lots of good things inside that store, and I like that they actually keep it like kind of like as a pop-up, so I don't think it's going to be permanent because there was a store that was actually there, and uh, yeah, I think it's fun. Now I want to take a stop into the Wonderground Gallery. I always love coming in here and seeing if there's anything new I want to add to my collection. They have some amazing art pieces in here. This Once Upon a Dream uh, piece right here is awesome. I think it's only uh, $95 and it's $399. I just like the frame itself. If you look, it actually might have some hidden Mickeys inside the frame. That's like an added, <laughs> an added nice little touch. Also, they have some princesses and even evil queens over here, but I'm not too sure in how I like the way they look. I mean, the evil queen kind of looks, you know, awesome, but what do you guys think about like Snow White right here? Like, I don't know, I'm, I'm on the fence. Does this like look good? She kind of looks evil at this point, especially, well, she's holding a poison apple. 
I like it though. Eight of 95, so most of these are all 95. And also look at this one right here. If I was able to get one thing in this store right now though, I think it would be this one right over here. Look at this Disneyland Enchanted Tiki Room art piece. I love it. They even have a Dole Whip right in the middle. Fritz, this is really awesome. This is uh, 95 also, limited edition. And it's $399. That's the one I would get though. Right outside of the Marketplace Co-op, they have the Marketplace Snacks, and they have some new things there, and one of them caught my eye. Of course, we have the Miss Incredible Float, and that is Dole Whip Strawberry with Dole Whip Lemon, and then Black Cherry Lemonade, but what about the Vanilla Orange Slushy Float? That sounds pretty interesting, doesn't it? Maybe after dinner, I might stop back and get the vanilla orange slushy because that sounds really, really delicious. I do like Dole Whips, and this stand is known for the Dole Whips. They even have Dole Whip nachos. I've had the Dole Whip nachos before, and it is a lot of sweetness happening. It's very delicious, though, and I think it's big enough to split between two people. Now let's make our way to the world of Disney. Not too sure how they're gonna do it today. Depending on the crowd, sometimes you can just walk in the door, sometimes you have to get a virtual queue, other times you have to wait in a strong line. But today, I don't know. We'll figure it out when we get there. I have no idea why I called it a strong line. I think I meant long line, but it looks like we're gonna be waiting in a strong line. It doesn't look that bad. 10 minute wait. It goes down and around this little uh, corridor down here. Milkman coming through. Oh, those are empty crates. That wasn't even a 10 minute wait. It was like five minutes. We kind of walked right in. I think the walk was the wait. So very much success. And now we can look around in the world of Disney a little bit. Lots of good stuff they have here. They've got new jerseys, some retro Walt Disney World merchandise. That's the stuff that I like. I think I showed that before, but I really love this Walt Disney World logo right here. Like, if I could wear a hoodie, I would probably want to get that one right there because that one is so bright and, I don't know, it just really stands out to me. I wish Disney would start making some new fedoras. They actually don't have any except for the Haunted Mansion one. And I only like to wear my Haunted Mansion fedora during the Halloween season. But these ones that I'm wearing now are paper. And honestly, if you sweat just a little bit, it's just like raw. So I really wish Disney would make a new fedora. I mean, they have some things like it. They have hats like this, but I think it's a little bit too big. I do like the way it looks though, but I think it's just a little bit too big for me. Take a look at this really cool monorail shirt. Oh, I love it. Oh, all they have is small and mediums, but they have all the monorails on it. That is so awesome. I don't want to grab it, so I'm going to grab it by the clothes hanger, but oh my lord, I love it. That is really, really cool. And I think it's only uh, $59.99. Well, not really only. Another thing I like to look at is the home goods, and I'm really liking this Disney beach towel right here. Look at Mickey. Oh, that's Minnie or Mickey? I'm not sure. Oh, it's both of them. Look at that. This is for the uh, his and her collection. I think this is like the wedding stuff. I'll be your Mickey Mouse. I'll be your Minnie Mouse. That's very nice. Some new coffee mugs. Look at the frozen mug right here. That's a big mug, isn't it? I don't know how to drink out of these mugs that kind of like have an oblob like sipping hole. Seems a little awkward. But I think I'm gonna be walking out of here with this. Look at that. Oh, I love it. You know I love Dalmatians. This is awesome, it's uh, $14.99. Oh, maybe I shouldn't get it now. I'm definitely gonna come back and get it, but since it's uh, actually fragile, I don't wanna be carrying it around Disney Springs all night. But this is gonna be my new coffee mug for the next couple weeks. There is a new Dalmatian shirt that I'm looking for. Other than the one that I just got, the bowling one, uh, there's a new, new like Dalmatian one. And I don't think it's here yet, so we're gonna have to come back and actually check for it. I can't wait for a holiday to begin. You know, like Christmas or Halloween. I mean, this 2021 merchandise is great for people that come and visit the parks and stuff like that, but I love it when they actually turn this all into like a holiday section. Like during Christmas, it's beautiful, and even the projections change, and all of it is just amazing. I wanted to come back out because it's starting to get dark out. We might get some rainstorms, so I want to finish up what we were doing at the Springs before we meet up with some friends. We'll come back to the world of Disney. Like I said, I'm on the hunt for that Dalmatian shirt, and I need to get my Dalmatian mug, because that's perfect. 
It definitely looks like a storm is a brewing. So hopefully we're gonna avoid the rain at all cost. Now I think I'm gonna wanna get something to eat because I don't know if I'm gonna have dinner later on. I'm gonna look for something small and there's a couple of grab and go selections here at the Springs and one of them is my favorite and that's the uh, Morimoto street food. And it's just like little tiny small things and uh, yeah, that way I don't get full in case we have a dinner later on when we meet up with our friends. Right here it is and you kinda just walk up and order and they have everything right there. It's very quick service. They've got so many cool things here, including chicken lemongrass dumplings, and that's what I'm gonna go for. Look at these fancy things. They got ribs in there, egg rolls. This is some fancy food. I ended up getting the chicken lemongrass dumplings. These are so, so delicious. Like, they're like the perfect texture too. Like sometimes you get dumplings and they're very soggy. These have just enough little crisp to it, and they have a soft filling. Very delicious and you definitely can taste the lemongrass in there. So awesome, I see corn and I see chicken, all the workings. Those dumplings hit the spot and now I can move along, but I wanna stop because I hear some beautiful music and I just wanna take a quick listen. Look at that. I love the street musicians they have down here. I think it's so beautiful. And right now, it's like almost the perfect time. It's like that golden hour, almost sunset. Gorgeous at the Springs tonight. Look at this, isn't it just so beautiful? I love Disney Springs at this hour. Blinded by the lights. Now I'm gonna make my way to go meet up with my friends. We're celebrating a little birthday today and uh, I think they're over at City Warts grabbing a beer. And it's so funny because we were just at City Warts and uh, I was talking about how much I love all of their different options for beer. They have the largest selection of drafts here at Springs. Actually probably here in Orlando. I don't know anywhere else that has uh, 90 different tabs. Like, that's a lot. I believe earlier I told you guys it's Friday so I was expecting heavy crowds and just look at the narrow walkway through here and the line for people waiting to get in the candy cauldron. Very busy on the weekends. And here we are, City Works Eatery and Poor House. I made it into City Works and of course being at City Works I gotta start off with the flight. So I'm gonna go with the backyard flight. Last time I was here I had it and I liked it a lot and it has the Orange Blossom Pilsner, my favorite. So this is a good way to start the night. Key West Sunset Ale, Orange Blossom, and then over here they have Sunshine Shitty and Sandy Feet American Wheat. I said Sunshine Shitty. I know you <laughs> And I met up with my friend, Beth Villains and Vice. Happy birthday. Thank you. Cheers. I also noticed they have filet sliders on the menu. And because I'm such a big fan of the filet sliders at the boathouse, I had to get it. I mean, they look phenomenal though. I mean, this might be really, really good. I'm excited to see how these compare to the boathouse's filet sliders. Those were my favorite, but I'll let you know. Very, very delicious. I do still think the boathouses are better, but these are definitely amazing. I would recommend getting them if you do come here, but I just prefer the boathouses. I think I like the bread better. These ones are more like a pretzel roll, but either way, they're both amazing. Happy birthday, dear Beth. Happy birthday to you. That was perfect. Thank you guys. That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the sliders and the flight, but now we're gonna move along and celebrate a little bit more into the nightlife here at Disney Springs. You can see we got some live music going on at the House of Blues, and it's just such a nice, chilled atmosphere tonight. Very cool. Now I think we're gonna head on to our next stop and that's gonna be at the Edison. I always like to stop here for celebratory drinks, you know, birthdays, special events. Really cool atmosphere and I love all the workers here. 
we got a seat at the bar and this place is known for their unique cocktails the bartender uh there are several great bartenders but the bartender we have tonight has a select full of like custom old fashions like his recipes and uh we decided to put it to the test and we're gonna try a whole bunch of different ones and i'm excited because you know i like a good old-fashioned beth actually got the japanese old-fashioned right is that yeah. what you called it yeah look how clear it is fancy even a bad old-fashioned is good right even a bad old-fashioned ain't that bad <laughs> that's the way <laughs> Look at him over there. He's really, he's going to town over there. I like it. Cheers. Happy birthday, Beth. Thank you. There we go. Clink, 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 clink. Clink. All four of these old fashions are different. This one is a bourbon chocolate and cherry smoked old fashioned. And then uh, Beth had the Japanese old fashioned. And then my friend Mike, he has a scotch old fashioned. And then I believe you had the mezcal, right? Right. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So crazy, right? I never even knew. So many different colors. Yeah, it is. It is different colors, right? Look at that. Mind-blowing. All old fashions, none of them look like an old fashioned. None of them. <laughs> I also love all of the entertainment they have down here, too. in the Edison it's always a fun time the live music I think is only on the weekends but it's always hopping here and it's always busy like I said it's a great place to bring like anybody for their celebration whether it be anniversaries birthdays or anything it's just really awesome now it's time we have to make our way out I actually just enjoy walking out of the Edison it is so amazing it is two floors we were downstairs the whole entire time the bowl like the, the whole entire bar is just massive they have three different bar sections but this is the main one and uh, it's just well themed in here and look at the clock right in the centerpieces as soon as you walk in I love all the furniture too fits very well in here and with that i think it's gonna call it a night here i had so much fun hanging out at disney springs the new pop-up store is amazing my glasses are fogging up a little bit that's because my mask isn't under my glasses little trick there so i hope you enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye <laughs>